kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Facebook native ad using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, in this video, I am going to teach you how you can implement the interstitial ads in your Android application. And those interstitial ads will be of the Facebook audience network. So, I will tell you the perfect way of how you can implement the interstitial ads in your Android application so let's get started so in our previous part as you know that we had done the banner ads and now in this video i will teach you all the complete uh, implementation of the interstitial ads of facebook so here we have this ad view here so now we will have a button which on then we click on the button and interstitial ad will be displayed so here you can see we have the uh, we can have a button that will be wrap content wrap content and we set the your you can say we can have the text and we can say click me all right and yes now we are in the main activity and then what we are going to do is we can simply say public void okay and here we write open activity ne or, or we can say open next activity and we pass on the view object because i personally use the on click of the xml attribute so that's very easy so i will just copy it and i will i will go to xml and here we have the attribute like on click and we can use the open next activity here all right after you are done doing this then the uh, next step is now you need to we need to add the activity inside our android manifest file so in order to do that we first of all uh, need to open the android manifest file and inside after this activity now we are going to use another activity and it will be activity so here we can say com dot facebook dot ads dot audience network activity and then we can say config changes and we have to use keyboard hidden then we also need to use the orientation and then we can also we need to use the screen size alright after we have added this activity we have to go to our interest uh, to main activity and first of all we need to use the we need to initialize the interstitial ad so for this we can say interstitial ad and then in order to initialize the interstitial ad what we are going to do here we can simply say interstitial ad equal to new interstitial ad and in here we need to first of all pass on the context of our current activity and then we need to pass on the placement id so for the context i we can simply say this and for the placement id what we are going to write the id is i think that we have this id so just copy it and paste it here so for this app id you need to go to your facebook audience manager and you need to create your property or the app and then you have to click, uh, click you have to create your placement and then after this this is for the testing so when you are when you are uh, ready to upload your app to your play store then you have to remove this okay after we have this interstitial app then the next thing is we can simply say interstitial ad dot load ad all right this is a very simple process like we initialize the interstitial ad then we say interstitial ad dot load ad so after the interstitial ads are loaded so here inside are open uh, uh, next activity so whenever the user clicks on any of the button then the interstitial ad should should appear so here we can first of all check if interstitial ad is not equal to null and interstitial ad is ad loaded okay it means that if the ad is loaded successfully then you can show them otherwise don't show it okay 
so here we can say interstitial add dot show then inside here inside our else else part what we are going to do we if the add is not uh, loaded then we can simply do our work so in 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 this example we are going to open our next activity so for the next activity we can create a new activity for this so we create new activity and empty activity so we have main two activity then here we can say intent intent equal to new intent and here we can say this and we can open our main to activity dot class and we can say start activity and here we can pass on the intent all right and after this here up if the ad is uh, loaded su successfully then we have to show them and then we need to use the add listener for our interstitial ad so for this we can say interstitial ad dot set ad listener then you can see new interstitial ad listener so there are many a couple of ad listeners so for example we have on interstitial display then on interstitial dismissed and on error on ad loaded so now what we are going to do is here inside our own interstitial dismiss so when the user dismiss the ad we can open our next activity so we copy here and paste it here similarly if there is any error then we have to open this main uh, the next activity so it is showing me error because we have to specify the class name so here we write main activity dot this so here we have written main activity here and also when the ad is clicked so we can also just copy it and paste it here inside our own ad clicked all right so that is the way of using the interstitial ad and also i want to make sure that we the interstitial ad is is not validated so here we can say in and interstitial ad dot is ad um, is not ad validated i mean if it is false then you have to show the ad and then you have to use the set ad listener for the our interstitial ad so i think everything is done and here we can display a toast message like we can say man activity dot this and here we can say ad loaded successfully alright and yes now let's run our app and let's see if our application works or not alright so now our application is getting installed and yes now you can see that our application has been opened and there will be a toast message that your ad has been loaded successfully so you can see on ad loaded so it means that the ad has been or i think the ad has not been loaded yet so if i click on click me so there you can see the ad is shown of the interstitial ad and if I click close and there you can see the other activity is opened alright so suppose if I want to okay so here we are and if I click on click me you can see there is ad and if I click on ad okay so if the user clicks on your ad you can see that the Facebook uh, the ad has been there and but if you go back and there you can see the next activity is opened <coughs> alright guys so I hope that you have understood like how you can implement the interstitial ads and uh, this is the perfect way of adding the interstitial ad by using the ad listeners for your interstitial ad so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye and also I want to make sure that you like the video and in our next part of the video series i will teach you how you can uh, create your the
native ads inside your recycler view in android studio so guys if you really like the video please subscribe to my channel i need more subscribers and yes so guys goodbye